Next up, talk about zero deforestation. Well, it's a, again, another instance of uh, zero not meaning zero. Um, the reason why they don't say, you know, a stop to deforestation or no deforestation is because they understand that the expanded production of the agricultural commodities that uh, Unilever, Nestle, Cargill, uh, ADM, you know, all these companies depend on, uh, who's, you know, that's the, the source of their, of their profits, um, that that involves deforestation. I mean, that's the main driver of global deforestation. So if you get, you know, if the demand for these commodities continues to increase, that that will drive forward deforestation. And they've been unable to meet any of the previous commitments they've had. The idea of zero deforestation is really just to sort of carve things out and say, okay, well, you have like, um, you know, imagine a large forest <clears throat> and half of it is already deforested. And then the crops that are being grown in that area or the, the cattle that are being raised in that area, that's the good you know that's that's the good food and the anything that comes out of future deforestation in the other area well that's the bad food and the corporations are colonizing and taking over all of this sort of space for the good food and pushing uh more of the everybody else's needs into the sort of the, the bad area to the, the deforested area so it, it really means that corporations just sort of capturing these areas that can be that they and their own standards would consider not to be causing any further deforestation. So that's where you get the this term zero deforestation. But of course, the you know there's all kinds of loopholes in it, and there's and and their their structural need for more commodities means that there's a you know, constant call out that keeps happening. You know, and not a month goes by when you're not seeing another report about a, a particular agribusiness company who's claiming to not be involved in deforestation. Uh, you know, sourcing. Uh, beef from say the Amazon or uh, being involved in, uh, in the deforestation in, in the Cerrado of Brazil. I mean, there's, there, it's, it's impossible for them to continue with their model without being a part of that as well. And the devastating consequences are made all too clear in the report, uh, which notes, for instance, how, quote, an area of forest equivalent to 27 football fields is destroyed every minute and the rate of deforestation in Brazil's Amazon hit a record high in the first half of 2022. Brazil is a good case. I mean, what what led to the expansion of all this commodity production and, and deforestation in Brazil? What was the inflow of money? Was the construction of infrastructure? You know, was the building up of, of trade routes? And all that was done by these corporations who are now claiming that they're, you know, they're now claiming zero deforestation.